It is the biggest title of Matteo Berrettini's career. Hey guys, Matteo Berrettini here. Let's check my Grand Slam appetite. Matteo, congratulations. So many momentum shifts in this match today. And of course, we hope that Alex is okay. Matteo Berrettini hated tennis, but we admit, he is on his path to being an iconic figure in the sport. Or is he? He has won seven titles, broken records, and has become a specimen of greatness. However, the Italian has hit a rough patch, and we wonder, will he get out of it? That is such... <laughs> pretty tough with me, so I don't know, I don't know. Matteo was born on the 12th of April 1996 as the first child of two in the city of Rome, Italy. When he was three, his parents bought him and his brother Jacopo tennis rackets. With Matteo's dad Luca being a pro tennis player, it was only natural for him to want his sons to follow in his footsteps. Well, at first, it didn't seem like Matteo would follow in his father's footsteps because he wasn't very keen on tennis. He had initially begun training in the sport, but stopped as the young lad wanted to try other sports. Allegedly, the Italian had a preference for swimming and judo. So, what changed his mind? No, it wasn't his dad, nor was it his mom. His brother, Jacopo, did. The younger brother convinced his older brother to return his focus to tennis. Jacopo trained with his brother, and this was enough encouragement for Matteo to focus on tennis finally. Jacopo, when asked about his impact on his brother's career, had this to say. We started together, then he stopped a little bit, and then he came back to play with me. I convinced him to play again. He tried other sports, but after that, we started to play together, and then we never stopped. Jacopo also added, We were so young, so probably my parents did a great job to convince him and me to play tennis. I think I gave to him the important energy and passion for tennis, to enjoy that. It's something we could do together, so I think it's funny. I think it's better to do something together. And if you like to watch more content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more. Berrettini didn't only come to love tennis, he turned out to be quite good at it. Between 2019 to 2022, every opponent who faced off with Matteo knew they had their work cut out for them. Matteo had a composure on the court many describe as superb. This composure, along with his skill, made him a nightmare for opponents. But there was one thing that made him stand out. Matteo could serve. And no, we don't mean he served dinner. Matteo has one of the strongest serves in the sport. His serves can move as fast as 235 kph, which means returning his serve can be an unwelcome experience for opponents. Matteo wasn't ready to take prisoners, and he was a man on a mission. At the Hungarian Open in 2019, he played against Filip Krajinovic in the finals, where he performed incredibly to defeat the Serbian and claim his second ATP title. During the Italian Open, Berrettini played against and beat Alexander Zverev in the round of 32. That win would be his first ever match against an ATP top five player. Berrettini's improvement continued, and he began to improve on other courts. He began to get used to grass and competed against Felix Auger Aliasim and won. That win would give Matteo his third singles title, and there was more to come. After the tournament, Matteo Berrettini became only the fifth man since 1999 to win two tournaments without dropping a serve. The Italian made his way to his first ATP semi-final at Halle Open, but he would proceed to the finals. His defeat by David Goffin, the Belgian professional player, pushed him into the top 20 players in the world. The hallmark of his 2019 season was his Wimbledon match against Roger Federer, which he lost in 74 minutes. Matteo has always had a great admiration for Federer and viewed the Swiss as his idol. Allegedly, Matteo has always trained to emulate the Swiss legend. After the game ended, Matteo, in good spirits despite his loss, went to Roger respectfully and joked, thanks for the tennis lesson, how much do I owe you? Yeah, Matteo is not only the towering, aggressive tennis player, man has some jokes in him too. When later asked about the match in an interview about how he felt about the match with his idol, he said, The loss to Federer at Wimbledon, it was significant and beautiful because I played against my idol in what was probably the most important court in the world. It has taught me so much. By the end of 2019, Berrettini showcased his incredible talent, and now he ranked number 8 in the world. This still wasn't the Italian's best, he still had some more to give. 2022 was one of the Italian's best seasons, but it showed the doom that would eventually consume the Italian. At the Australian Open, he reached the quarterfinals after defeating outstanding opponents like Brandon Nakashima and Pablo Carreño. This incredible feat made him the first player born within the 90s and the first Italian to reach the quarterfinals of all four major tennis events. Berrettini won the quarterfinals and proceeded to the semifinals, where no other Italian has ever reached. But that semifinal win was a demanding one as he battled Gael Monfils for five sets. 
Then the tennis player faced another legend, Rafael Nadal. While Nadal had been battered with injuries over his career, he had experience on his side, but Berrettini was no easy mark. He had aggression and a mean serve on his side. The match was a story of youth and experience. After Berrettini made a wrong call on a shot from Nadal, where Berrettini left the ball which he thought would be out but was not, Berrettini quickly adjusted to Nadal's game. Each shot from Nadal was returned with fury by Berrettini. The match was tense and the crowd was attentive. Everyone wondered who would make it to the finals. However, Nadal would eventually win the match, showing the Italian why he is a 20-time Grand Slam winner. Due to his superb performances, the Italian moved to become the number six tennis player on the ATP rankings. However, Berrettini wouldn't be able to build on his 2022 season. Injuries came knocking and it derailed his 2023 season, but the signs have always been there. In 2019, Berrettini couldn't compete in the events leading to the 2019 US Open as he had an ankle injury. Injuries happened again in the 2021 season when the player was competing in the ATP Finals. Well, you probably couldn't say he competed considering an abdominal injury took him during his match with Alexander Zverev in his first match of the competition. 2022 wasn't any better when it came to injuries. The player missed two out of the four Grand Slams, but he did rise to become the sixth player on the ATP rankings. After a poor performance in Rio de Janeiro, early retirement in Acapulco, and a loss to Miomir Ketsmanovic in three sets, the player injured his right hand, which required him to do surgery and miss the Miami Open and the French Open as he had to recover. Then, after he returned, the player had his eyes on winning the 2022 Wimbledon Championships. Unfortunately, he couldn't as another injury struck. Okay, not an injury, but wait, couldn't COVID be a kind of injury? The Italian tested positive for COVID before the event and had to withdraw. Matteo recovered, bustling to represent his country in the Davis Cup. However, a foot injury stopped his ambition to compete in the Cup. With all of these injuries, the player's mental health took quite a beating. In an interview, the player said, Mentally, it was really tough. I was at my best ranking. I was playing good. I had a good run in Australia. Clay season was coming and grass season was coming, which are the ones I love the most. And then that injury happened, so it was tough to deal with that. The player revealed that his injuries distracted him from focusing on tennis, but he added he was getting ready to compete and that he was using the time he was out to recover properly. The player hoped to have a better 2023 season. Spoiler alert, he didn't have a better 2023 season. Berrettini had a lingering abdominal injury from earlier in 2023, which stole the larger part of the season from him. He missed a series of events, including the French Open. Finally, the player made it back and looked recovered enough to compete in Wimbledon and had a strong start to the tournament, beating Alex de Menar and Alexander Zverev. However, he lost to Carlos Alcaraz. Then came the 2023 US Open and it was here that everything hit the mud. During his match against Frenchman Arthur Rinderknecht in the second round of the competition, the 2021 Wimbledon finalist struggled. He was almost down two sets against the Frenchman when he rolled his ankle while going after the tennis ball. Immediately, the player went down, letting out a mighty scream. Then, Matteo just wouldn't get up. The umpire called for a medic, but they took five minutes to appear, and worried fans began to get furious. Matteo managed to get up, shake his opponent's hand, and leave the court in agony. The question on everyone's lips is, will the Italian be okay? And is this the end of his tennis career? Matteo Berrettini may not have wanted to be a pro tennis player when he was young, but he now lives and breathes the sport. The Italian has broken records and has won seven titles, but now the future seems unstable for Matteo Berrettini as he is almost out of the top 100 in the world due to injuries. Will he come back? Will he surpass his previously held number six on the ATP rankings in the world? Or is this the end of the Italian? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel.